Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Adolescence. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate your time and your viewership. So I actually reviewed another Floraiku fragrance called Between Two Trees. I love that one. And I did that video several months ago. I'm gonna leave a card to it up here if you're interested in checking on my thoughts on that one. But this one I think is perfect for the summertime. And so I was holding off on reviewing this one, but I'm finally excited to be talking about it on camera. It came out in 2017. It's called I Am Coming Home. Make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my fragrance review of I Am Coming Home by Floraiku, and I tell you all about this fragrance, a fantastic summer fragrance from the brand, I do wanna mention that if you are interested in fragrance-related content, if you like fragrance reviews just like this, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you gotta do is click on that red button in the corner, not the pillow behind me, but the button down below. And while you're at it, if you can give this video a thumbs up, it would really go a long way in terms of the YouTube algorithm. So again, the brand came out in 2017. I remember sampling all of the fragrances when it was first released. And of course, there were some that I thought, okay, these are perfect for the summertime. And this is one of them. So it was composed by Sophie Lobb, came out in 2017, very simple note breakdown. So it actually has white tea, ginger and cardamom but of course there's a lot more than meets the eye or nose in this case when it comes to note breakdowns because i also pick up on a lot of citrus i pick up on some woods it's a very complex fragrance despite its simplicity on face value but i'm very excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance i also want to mention that if you are interested in purchasing any fragrance from floraiku or even sampling them you may do so at max aroma i'm going to leave all of the information down below they're located in long island city new york fantastic customer service, very friendly people working over there. Adam, Gazelle, uh, Hamed, really friendly guys, and just a great place to purchase discounted niche and designer fragrances from for a really good price. Let's go ahead and start things off with the presentation. So I'm telling you, right in the opening of this fragrance, I'm getting this very smooth, but a little creamy bergamot note. And the bergamot note in here smells so natural and so realistic. At times, it kind of reminds me of Zerzhov's Neo in terms of how natural and how realistic it smells. And it just has this freshness that is captured so perfectly in the top of the perfume. And so that element alone would make me say, you know what, this is perfect for the summertime. But there are also some some other enticing notes in there that I think make it really fresh, really inviting, and super appropriate for the summertime. So right behind that bergamot note or that citrus appeal that you get in the opening, a little touch of lemon as well, you're going to get this white tea note. And the white tea that is in there just smells very pure, very clean, very heavenly. And so I'm actually a fan of white tea when it comes to consuming it in beverage form because I do drink a lot of tea. It's actually my preferred choice of drink in the evenings just when I'm trying to unwind and settle despite the fact that it's caffeinated and I probably shouldn't be drinking it in the evening. But there's this one variety of white tea that I drink called Silver Needle and I actually really enjoy drinking it tea bag form, loose leaf. And it actually does remind me of that. But of course, it's a lot more complex than just the tea, right? So you have that white tea in here, very sort of um, herbal and smooth, and it adds this element of purity to the fragrance. And of course, I think it's kind of represented in the aesthetic of the bottle presentation because it is in a white bottle. But there's also a touch of ginger in here, and the ginger really cleans things up as well. And so I like that spiciness of the ginger. There's a touch of cardamom mom just to kind of increase that herbal and culinary aspect of the fragrance. Of course, it doesn't smell like a spice kitchen or anything like that. If anything, cardamom is usually added to fragrances to make them a little bit more, in my opinion, masculine. When you think of fragrances like La Nuit de L'Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. But in this case, it's completely unisex. There's just like this spicy tendency that I think complements the tea and the citrus quite perfectly. And in terms of the woods that are in here, I can get a little bit of cedar wood, maybe a little juniper as well, just kind of adding that very smooth woodsy texture, nothing creamy like a sandalwood, although the citrus is creamy, but I'm not getting a sweetness from it is what I was trying to say. 
okay so very bright very citrusy very enticing for the summertime as well and i'm personally a fan of it i really enjoy wearing this one i made it my scent of the day like three days ago and i did about four sprays on my shirt because i was wearing other things on my arm i did like four sprays on my shirt followed me around the whole day and so memo paris and floraiku are two brands that have fragrances that are highly concentrated and so longevity and projection is never an issue even for the summer driven and summer oriented fragrances like i am coming home let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment so first up in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell in my opinion this is a unique fragrance even though i'm thinking about the bergamot so i'm kind of reminded of zerjoff neo and the white tea that's in here I'm reminded of a zoologist fragrance. There's also the brand new perfumology Sudute, uh, which I've done a video on, although I'm not sure when I'm going to publish it. But in the case of this fragrance, it really stands out. And so it contains notes that, of course, I've experienced in other fragrances before, but it still does its own thing. And so I really admire the uniqueness and the originality behind this fragrance. In terms of the uh, longevity on it, eight to 10 hours on my skin every time like i said i wore this one three days ago i did four sprays on my shirt lasted me the entire day and i have sampled it on skin as well and it lasts a solid maybe seven or eight hours on skin upwards of 10 hours on clothes projection is great for the first two hours of application it will radiate within an arm's length for about two hours it doesn't start to sit really close to the skin like within an elbow's length until about that six to seven hour mark in terms of the versatility you can wear this one dressed up dress down i think it's polished and classy enough that you can wear it in a formal scenario but i think the citrus the ginger that white tea creates enough of that freshness that you can wear this one casually as well i think it's totally unisex again and i also think that in terms of the presentation it looks really classy i love the travel atomizer i love all the little gadgets that are included in this bento box kind of you know alluding to the japanese culture and of course the haiku that's written on the back of the bottle my final verdict on this fragrance is it's one of my favorites for the summertime. Uh, if you're looking for a summer fresh citrusy tea ginger offering from the brand Floraiku, this is the best one. This is the best summer fragrance from the brand Floraiku, excuse me. You do not need to sample other fragrances from the brand if you're just thinking about the summertime. Of course, there are other tea-based offerings from Floraiku, and I enjoy a lot of them. And of course, there are some that are a little bit on the darker, woodsier side that I enjoy wearing when it's a little bit colder outside, but this is their best summer offering. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you took something of value from this video, please do consider once again supporting this channel by subscribing to it. And again, if you are interested in purchasing this fragrance, any fragrance from this brand or sampling this fragrance, you may do so at maxaroma.com. All of the links are going to be down below. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you soon. Bye.